Hi, welcome to this lesson on block style sheets. With this lesson, you'll describe a block style sheet and know when to use one and create a custom block style sheet. So let's dive in. What is a block style sheet and when would you use it? You always have the choice to write your CSS within theme.json. Here is an example of this being done for the WordPress core gallery block. However, block style sheets are the solution if ever your CSS starts to get too lengthy. Let's now take a look at a couple of block themes found on the WordPress directory. The first theme is called Ronnie and it was created by theme in WP. The second one is called Charity Vibes, created by Iconic Themes. You always have the choice of placing your CSS within style.css. However, for a large project, you may want to consider breaking out your style sheets per block and then placing it into a folder such as assets. You can improve the site performance and also make your larger project a little easier to manage. Within the Ronnie theme, they chose to place their block style sheets within assets styles and within charity vibes they chose to place their style sheets within assets CSS and a file called blocks.css. So you can see that you do have choices for naming your files and the folder. Let's take a look now at creating custom block style sheets. There are some naming conventions to take note of. The class name for a block style sheet is WP block namespace slug. And for core blocks, you would use the class WP block slug. And the block style sheet would be core slug.css. To register block style sheets, you use the WP and Q block style function. You'll be passing the block name as the first parameter and an array of arguments as the second parameter. You can use functions.php to register your block style sheet. Here's an example of how you would do this for the WordPress core image block. And this is the minimum required in order for your style to appear in line within the head area of your page. You can learn more about block style sheets by referring to the theme handbook available to you on wordpress.org. 